the House of Representatives, Honorable Prince Ned Ngoku, has raised an alarm over a plot by some persons to assassinate him unlawfully. He raised the alarm at a press briefing alongside his wife, Regina Danes, Thursday in Abuja. Ned Ngoku, while narrating the privileged information at his disposal, said the plot is in connection with the piece of land in his hometown of Delta State, where he intended setting up a university as well as a leadership tozo in his community. He noted that, despite an agreed settlement on both issues arising from the community, which followed due processes, yet there is still a plot of assassinating him, basically exposed on social media by an inmate in Kuje prison in Abuja. Honorable Prince therefore calls on the plotters to desist or be ready to face the law. Two months ago, one morning, my wife Regina forwarded something to me. I, I, I looked at it, I opened it, I said, where is it from? I went through it. Tell me where you're going through it now. And I, she said to me she got it from a company, a company director. The owner of that company is a guy called Wally. This company is a fairly big company. They call Sapphire. Sapphire are perfume uh, makers. You probably know about them. Regina happens to be one of the brand ambassadors for Sapphire, the perfume company. So I asked to speak with the man who forwarded it to her. And I spoke with him. And he told me he got it. This thing was sent to him by a gentleman who was in, in prison at the time. Who was in prison at the time. And so it began to make sense. Of course, when I read it, I knew some of the characters mentioned in the message. But it's a very serious matter. I mean, when somebody's life is at stake, it is more important than anything else. So the first thing I did was to report to the CP, report to the IG, and report to the DSS. They took up the matter. They went to prison, they interviewed the two people who were conspiring to kill. They also invited the gentleman who was named there as their financier. Later on, of course, if you read through there, they just described him as the owner of uh, filling stations. Of course, in my place, there's only one owner of filling stations. But when the guy who overheard the discussions came out from prison. I also met with him. He gave further statements to the police and to DSS. But beyond that, he also began to express fear that those people were threatening him for leaking the information to kill me. The police tried to encourage him to make statements, which he did. Outside this, he made further statements to DSS, to CP's office, and to the IG's office. Part of the statement he made also was that he was receiving, receiving threats for leaking this information. For me, I wouldn't have called this press conference, but for two reasons. One, even more importantly, is that the person mentioned in the documents and the further statements, Gabriel Obeche, the owner of uh, Reno Hill, began to say that I concocted the story. You know, I have no reason 
to, to make up such a story. So I wanted to deal with the issue of credibility. I have no reason to make up a story about somebody who is in prison. But secondly, and much more importantly, is that the guy who informed us on this plot, just as he feared for his life, he died three weeks ago. He died three weeks ago, so much so that even the, the mother and siblings have refused now to, they were meant to be at this press conference. The gentleman at Sapphire Perfumes, Wale, was also meant to be here, but he said he's also scared for his life because the way a manner that uh, the gentleman died is still a mystery and suspicious. We just felt at some point that having gone to the police would have been enough. At least once they were told that the plan has leaked, that that might encourage them to abort whatever they wanted to, to do, but it didn't seem to have worked. Investigations are ongoing on the plot to assassinate and on the death of this young man. His name is Osi Bosa. Whilst in prison, he overheard these discussions. He only spent three weeks in prison. The guys who were plotting to kill in prison, they are still in prison. 